So I wanted to share my vine borer solution, or maybe I should say potential solution. These two front plants, for example, these are my zucchini. The one right in front here is a gorgeous gray zucchini, and the one next to it is the Ronde Nice, which I may be mispronouncing. Um, but that has these beautiful round zucchinis, if you can see that one. Lovely, there's some babies down there. And they both were attacked by vine borers. So, and I suspected that was happening. So I had actually started a second round right here in case this one didn't make it. So this is a few weeks old, but doing great. So I cut the stem on both of these plants. I dug out the vine borer, which was not very pleasant, but um, so is gardening sometimes. And I cut open a plastic container because the the cut in the, in the stem went pretty high up. So I took a plastic container, I cut out the bottom, cut the sides, I put the container around the stem and then filled that with fresh compost, secured it with some clamps and some twine. And so hopefully we'll do okay. Um, as you can see, the outside leaves are really wilted and struggling, but I was very excited to see that the inside leaves, the fresh young leaves, seem to be doing great. And we had an open zinnia, or <laughs> zinnia. We had an open zucchini flower today. As you can see, that's the female. And I did pollinate her with a flower um, that I found earlier. And there's a couple. Where are we? Right there. That's one that didn't make it. You can just Well, it's not ready to come off yet. I'll let that do its thing then. Here's another little baby. There's another little female. You can see her. So I'm encouraged that it still had enough energy to put out two flowers today. It makes me feel like there's some hope. And this Ronde, Ronde Nice, I'll put the pronunciation, or I'll put the spelling in the description. This one doesn't seem to be too bothered at all. Looks really, really, really healthy. I am growing these vertically for the first time. So that's an experiment. They're about three feet tall. I'm trimming off all of the bottom leaves, cutting it really close to the stem so that the bugs don't have any little crevices to crawl into and do damage from. So we'll see. Wish me luck. Good luck to all of you.